when you're building a house it will take you from six months to 12 months it's just because the current market right now so number one what you need to do is you need to find a What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Before I start this video, have you noticed anything, something in me today? Yes, it's there. My new name tag. I just got this last week. See it? Boom. Wow. My name is so long, it wouldn't fit here either. But I'm so proud and I'm happy about this. I've been using this when I'm touring my clients. In today's video, I want to talk about how long to build a new construction house. What is the time length? What do you consider? If you're looking to build your construction house from the scratch, watch this video from the start until the end and I will give you a golden nugget and some tips here how long you should wait when building your new construction house all right but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome subscribe if you haven't done so and also smash that like button for me the most important thing and share this video if you found this value so without further ado let's jump into it so first thing that you need to know when building a new construction house is the land all right you need to find a land first before thinking like i want to build a house because without a land how are you gonna build your house makes sense right so first thing that you need to know is which land that you're gonna pick to build your new construction house so there are different kind of land that you can buy or maybe you could rent you know for building your new construction house number one in your option if you're going to get a land or if you're going to buy a land or rent a land for your new construction house is a residential land that's a number one option or you can lease it to different owner let's say you want to lease a land and you're gonna put your house in there and you're just gonna pay a monthly payment to that owner that makes sense or you can just purchase some land and then once you purchase the land make sure that land is suitable for residential use for your new construction house don't just buy a land sometimes when you see a land for sale super cheap you just want to buy it and then build your own house there you could do that but make sure you just do your diligence you make sure you research that one if that land is has a sewer if that land is suitable for new construction house if it's flooded area you know something like that make sure you research first before purchasing chasing or having a lease on that land so that's the number one so let's go to number two so once you found a land what you need to do is you need to make a survey what do you mean by survey survey means like you need to hire someone to make a survey for your land to make sure that is safe to use to make sure that you are good to put your new construction house it's like inspection when you are buying a used property you just need to inspect it but this time you have a survey and that survey will do that work for you and they will give you a report means like this land is good for residential use and it's good for building a new house does it make sense for that one that's quick and easy to understand so let's go to number three so number three hold on let me just check my phone i just write them all so i make sure that i don't forget them and i make sure that i deliver them to you correctly number three is you need to get a permit what do you mean by permit okay permit means you cannot just like let's say i have a land and i did my survey everything is good i'm just gonna build my new construction house there right away you cannot do that you have the steps here right if you want to build like from the scratch make sure you do these steps because otherwise you will get in trouble especially if you don't have a permit to build your land there i mean to build your house there in that land that you just had some survey so what you need to do when getting a permit you need to go to county or you need to go online and search like a county in your area like for example here in our county here in lake county I, we have like a lake county you just go to the county where you can apply for permit because otherwise what would happen is if you don't have any permit where you're gonna put your new construction house can ask you some question ask you some permits if you are allowed to put your residential house there or to put your new construction house there because sometimes that land you just bought or you just lease it and you have a survey but the permit is only zoned for commercial use 
is only zoned for let's say uh, rental use it's zoned for industrial use so it, it does have like different zone it means like different use for that land so make sure you have the right zone or you have the right permit before applying anything in that land you just bought or you just going to build your new construction house does it make sense if it does don't forget to smash that like button again for me I appreciate that one so let's move on on to the next one so once you have your land once you have your land survey and once you have your permit you have like the three major steps there and let's go to the next one which is the foundation what do you mean about the foundation so the foundation means like make sure that place that where you're gonna put your new construction house has a good foundation because sometimes when you are trying to put your new construction house there make sure that will last long it means like you cannot have like a weak foundation especially here in central florida there has a lot of let's say hurricane or storm make sure the foundation will have a good fundamental because otherwise if you don't have a good foundation what will happen to your new construction house if the storms come by or visit in your area and what will happen to your house bye bye so make sure that you have like a good foundation by doing that you can also hire a someone who could do that for you for that specific job make sense so let's just move on to the next one so once you have your foundation what you need to do is you need to have your walls so it means like you have your foundation for new construction and then what you need to do is you need to build your walls what do you mean by walls so where you're gonna put all your bricks or your cement or whatever you're gonna put to have a wall you know on the side the front at the back of your house upstairs just to have like a wall like a guard inside of your house so that's the next step when you are building this house so make sure that you have a great wall will make sure that the house is strong and durable you know especially if there's a storm or hurricane coming by so that's the next step that you need to consider okay what you need to do next is your interior so what do you mean by interior now RJ interior means like say for example your windows your electrical inside if you don't know like electrical or electricity like for your bulb for your lights for your plugs for anything that electrical matter inside of your house so after that apart from windows electrical or you know your flooring make sure that you choose which one is best or works for you because some people will put a carpet inside the house and then after three years four years they don't like the carpet anymore it's just because like the carpet smells bad and it's stained it's hard to clean make sure that you choose whatever best for you which will serve you for long run not just like a short term if you know what i mean make sure you're gonna pick the one that will last you forever for example what kind of flooring that you could choose number one is carpet number two is vinyl wood or tiles etc so you make sure that you will pick the right for you so let's go to the next one which is like the finishing so when you have like your foundation when you have your walls built and also when you have your interior and now we are going to finish it off what we're gonna do is finishing is we're gonna paint it up inside of the house outside of the house and also if we want to put some grass as well outside finishing off means like whatever need to finish off after we have done the main bits of the house okay are we clear on that one so let's move to the next one my phone is ringing and you know I'm not gonna answer it because I am recording a video I'm gonna ring that one later so the next one is the landscaping which is the last one so it means that the landscaping which I mentioned earlier like the grass you know what's outside you want for your garden whatever you want to put in your new construction house must be your best choice as well because sometimes when you put like a real grass there and then after a year you are complaining that you have to maintain this grass or your garden and it costs you a lot of money so make sure like you know for the best tip that I could give you if you don't want to mow your grass every like twice in a week which is my father-in-law doing in this house you know I would suggest to get like artificial grass so you don't have to maintain it or cut your grass or mow your grass every twice in a week it doesn't cost you that much when maintaining your landscaping or your grass does it make sense I will just recall everything for you so you understand how long does it take when building 
building a new construction house from the scratch so number one what you need to do is you need to find a land remember that one get a land once you found the land you need to get a survey it's like a survey or let's say if you're gonna buy a used house this is like your inspection okay so once you get your survey done you need to get a permit don't forget that one because getting a permit is a long time get approved that's number three number four is your foundation once you get your permit the foundation must be really good because that's gonna be your foundation of your brand new house for hurricane or flood all right make sure you have a good foundation next is number five is the wall make sure you have a great wall which is good for as i said for hurricane for whatever disaster could happen in your house make sure that is durable and will help or protect you during those times and next is interior interior designing like for your window for your flooring for your kitchen for your countertops you know all that stuff once you've done that and the next one is your finishing once you finishing like let's say your paint inside the house painting outside the house make sure the doorknobs right everything is good you know the cabinet and the last one but not the least is the landscaping which i talked before which is the grass or your garden you are happy about it and make sure that you're gonna put whatever best for you and also as additional you know when you're building a house it will take you from six months to 12 months it's just because the current market right now we are dealing with delay of materials i don't know why we are delaying materials most of the builders that i just spoke to most of them are having a problem from delay of windows their interiors sometimes their wood you know when their people asking for wood flooring it's just because of the market what happening right now in here 2022 i don't know what's going on maybe it's a lot of people asking to build a new house that's why the materials are getting lesser and lesser you know there are more demand i hope that makes sense so if you're planning to do this make sure you have enough time and don't think like you're gonna build your house from scratch within two days two months you know or three months especially oh, no. at this current market all right so this is the video for today i hope you found this value and once again i'm just gonna say if you haven't subscribed in this video please subscribe make sure you subscribe and also smash that like button if you found this helpful and also share this video for those people who's planning to build their own house from the scratch if you watch this video until this end comment down below new construction so i see how many people who watch this video until this end i really appreciate that one and also if you are planning to buy a new construction house i have a 21 questionnaire this is free and confidential which i will put down here at the the bottom on the comment box just fill it up the form will take you about 15 minutes to 20 minutes max and then once you fill that out it will send me automatically and i will review it and then i will help you find your new construction house you don't have to think all oh, those things that i told you what i will do is i will do that for you and you will just need to approve whatever i will do a work for you so are we good yeah. until next time once again thank you for watching until this end i will see you on the other side peace <laughs> So that's the whole thing. Let. Excuse me.